The Little Christmas Star, Bedtime Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named The Little Christmas Star, Bedtime Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Of all the stars that shine in the sky, there had always been one that was brighter and more beautiful than the others. The whole sky's planets and stars looked on in admiration, wondering what could be the important mission that this star was to carry out. And the star itself did exactly the same, aware of its own incomparable beauty. The speculation ended when a group of angels came to the star. Hurry! Your time has arrived. The Lord calls upon you to carry out an important mission. And the star went as fast as he could and found out that her mission was to show where the most important event in history would take place. The star was filled with pride and dressed herself in her most beautiful costume of glint and bedazzlement. She proceeded to follow the angels, who would show her the right place. The star shone with such strength and beauty that she was seen from all parts of the world and so much so that a group of wise men decided to follow her, knowing that she must be pointing to something important. For days the star followed the angels, showing the way, and she was eager to discover what place she was going to illuminate. However, when the angel stopped and with great joy said, Here it is, the star could not believe it. There were no palaces, no castles or mansions, no gold or jewel. Only a small, half-abandoned, dirty, smelly stable. Oh, no, not that. I cannot waste my shine and beauty lighting up a place like this. I was born for something greater than this. And though the angels tried to calm her, the star's fury grew and grew, and so much pride and arrogance bubbled up inside her that she began to burn. And thus she consumed herself and disappeared. Well, what a problem. There were only a few days left before the big moment, and they were without a stop. The angels, in a panic, ran to heaven to tell God what had happened. After thinking for a moment, God said, In that case, search for the, the smallest, most humble and joyful of all the stars you can find, and bring it here. Surprised by the order, but unquestioning, because the Lord often did this kind of thing, the angels flew through the heavens in search of the smallest, most joyful star. It was a tiny star, as small as a grain of sand. He knew so little that he gave no importance to his brightness, and he spent his whole time laughing and chatting with his friends, the biggest stars. When this star was brought to the Lord, he was told, the most perfect star in creation, the most wonderful, the most brilliant, has failed due to its pride. I thought that you, the most humble and joyful of all the stars, should be the one chosen to take its place and light up the most important event in history, the birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. The star was filled with so much emotion and joy that he had already arrived over Bethlehem, led by the angels, before he realized that his brilliance was negligible and that, however much he tried, he could not illuminate things much better than a firefly could. Okay, he said to himself. How come I didn't think before accepting this assignment? I'm the smallest star there is. It is totally impossible for me to do as well as that great shining star. The shame of it. I'm going to mess up an opportunity that all the stars in the heavens would have loved to have had. Then he thought again, all the stars in the heavens. Of course they would love to take part in something like this. And without hesitation, the star took to the skies with a message for all his friends. On December 25th, at midnight, 
I want to share with you all the greatest glory that can exist for a star. To light up the birth of God, I will await you in the little town of Bethlehem by a small stable. And indeed, none of the stars rejected this generous invitation. So many stars joined together that they formed the most beautiful star of Christmas that would ever be seen, even though the little star couldn't even be seen amid all the brilliance. And happy at his excellent service, and as a reward for his humility and generosity, God transformed this little messenger into a beautiful shooting star and gave him the gift of granting wishes every time saw his beautiful trail gleaming in the night sky was seen. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.